what a great way to start the new year with thinking about the last year. Yay! So 2014 is over and it brought us many good and bad things. But we're going to talk about the good ones and leave the bad ones behind in 2014. So we have handpicked our 10 favorite releases this year. Yeah. As in physical releases. Those 10 really remind us of 2014. It's songs and albums we listen to a lot. And thus we thought we would share them with you. Also note that most of them are apparently from the second half. I'd yeah. say. Um, that's not because we forgot what we bought in the first half. We really went through a list, but the second half of 2014 seems to have been way stronger than the first half. Plus, I think we have a stronger connection to some albums because we bought them in Korea and we listened to them in Korea, and maybe that's also a reason why those are on our list. Um, and let's start with, I think, one of the earliest releases. Probably the earliest. Yeah. With Speed, um, who released a bunch of songs at the beginning of the year and then kind of, well, went away again. But nonetheless, this album is great. They also released two other songs that are sadly not on here and we don't think there is a physical release for We're not sure though. Zombie Party. Or no, I don't Disney. think so. Um, we want to tell you also which songs to listen to that are not the title tracks. Uh, sadly, we think most of the songs on this CD were released uh, in some form, but Hey My Lady is definitely check out worthy. Um, next up is something that coasted us our last nerve. <laughs> yeah. But the CD is nonetheless really great and it's BTS's Dark and Wild, uh, which is amazing. Every single song on there is just to our taste. We love it so much, but our favorite songs that have not been promoted because we really loved Hormone War, <laughs> are um, Cypher number three, which is like every single Cypher so far. Um, hip hop song Eda, which is really good. I think it's track number four. Yeah. <laughs> and um, Yogi Boa, which gives you a really great Pharrell vibe. Yes, we listen to this and we're like, this sounds like Pharrell. It's yeah. Really, really cool. So they have a lot of genres within hip hop on here, I'd say. So check it out definitely if you're into Korean hip hop. And we know they also released their School Love Affair album, but we had to decide and this made the cut. To um, be honest, both of them would have yeah. made it, probably. Yeah. But <clears throat> we tried to, well, 10 albums. Um, then another big release, might have been the biggest release ever for this year. No, but it's Excess Overdose. Um, we loved it. I know some people didn't love it. I know you yeah. don't like all the songs. I, I don't like the songs. I, okay. I don't like all the songs, and I think the dance to Overdose was meh. Yeah. Doesn't make the album any less good, though. I think it's really good. Yeah. So, for me, I listen to every song. I love all of them, but Run is just the perfect song for concerts, and it's also perfect for singing at Nordavang with your friends, <laughs> and it's, it's just so fun. Next up we got one of the smaller releases, also something that came out through the, um, towards the end of the year and it's Ship Senshi's or 10 centimeters 3.0 album, so their third album <laughs> um, basically. It comes with lots and lots, also it's just an almost a deep note there, um, with lots of lots of perfect tracks, like every single track on there is really great, except for uh, Kiriwara, I'd say, and that's the one they promote because I mean it's really perfectly ship senshi, but it's the, I don't I don't know all the, the album tracks is a bit are stronger, faster, and yeah. that one is a bit slower for the. Okay. However, our favorite track would be Aprika Ton Tong Tun Tong Tunida <laughs> Tong Tuni. It's Primavera, I think. It's African Primavera. That's that's just it's so easy to sing along even though you don't speak Korean and yeah. and it's just it gives you this mood and he sings about wanting to go on a trip and wanting to go to Africa and yeah, the song captures what he sings. It's just really really great and we recommend everyone to check it out but we are really big fans so we might be a bit biased. Yes. <laughs> Talking about, well not boy bands for once, Shona released her third mini album A Talk and it was so scandalous. <laughs> Everyone was talking about her video and how scandalous it was. And we really liked Red? Is it? Yeah, Pai Kaiyo. 
Fuck okay. you. Fuck you. The, right. Um, yeah. But we also really enjoyed French Kiss. It's also a bit naughty, but not really fun. And I think she just... She, she rocks this concept. And... Well done, Chana. We really liked your release this year. So next up is something legendary as well. And it's Judy's Chapter 8. Which is basically the perfect album um, that I was hoping for. It's just G.O.D. Um, from back in the day. And our favorite song is Hanisek Yaksok, which is basically a remake of one of their old songs. But they made the lyrics fit into this time um, of their lives. So it's, it's just really, really, really great. Uh, especially if you are not familiar with G.O.D. yet, you can listen to this and it kind of gives you an overview of what the music is like or was like. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, then we have another solo release of a boy or a, of a band member, and it's uh, Tamin's Ace album. We did not expect to like this. Like, um, we didn't like Ace at all when no. we saw it, and we weren't really sure about the concept. And then we bought the album because, well, Tamin is still my favorite shiny member, <laughs> and uh, the album is great. Except for Ace for me. I we still don't like Ace, but every other song on this album is great. I would recommend you to listen to uh, Pretty Boy, but you probably have already. <laughs> so I will tell you to listen to Wicked instead because Wicked is another really great song on this album. Um, next up, an album that was so good we had to buy two copies. <laughs> um, no, they 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 made two different versions of B1A4 Solo Day. Um, which are basically the same inside. Um, the only difference is the cover. So, um, many songs on here are really great, but our favorite is Mulhanjan, which is just, it's like solo day, but even a little better. Yeah. It gives you that whole summery mood vibe. It, it just makes you want to spend time with friends somehow. I don't know. It's also, we, we still remember it from... I was stay in Korea and we listen to this a lot. So it's it's just a really great summer album. Um then another girl band album this time from the whole band is FX's Red Light album. And I know a lot of people name Pink Tape as their favorite album ever and I think FX just managed to release another as strong album with this one. Um Red Light is great. We love <laughs> um, Mujige. It's it's such a fun song. You should so listen good. to it. Next to Mujige, we also love Dracula and Milk. But every song on this album is just perfect. And the uh, last but not least, I don't want to say the best release of last year, but maybe it was. Maybe I've, I'm I'm not sure. But it's Actor Musicians Play album. We joined the bandwagon a bit late, as we tend to do. <laughs> Um, but mostly because it's YG, um, we opposed, we used to oppose YG, let's put it that way, <laughs> things change. However, this is really, really strong. It's not that YG, it doesn't sound like it has been produced in the same lab as every other YG album that came out the past three years. Uh, it's really different, it's really beautiful. Two talented kids. <laughs> That's what you should call them. Um, our favorite song, besides all of the tracks they promoted, because all of them were great, uh, is Jihad Choleso on the subway. It's it's a really, really fun track. But besides that, we also like Jagan Pyol, which is a bit on the ballad -y side. Um, however, the whole album is just so, so good. And the best thing, I think we already showed you this uh, when, we, when we did our we did have a career haul. Sorry, I just love it. It's so cool. <laughs> so that's that. Yeah, those were our top ten physical releases of last year. Let us know your favorite album. We were thinking about doing songs, but I think songs is too difficult to do. We won't get to top ten, not even top twenty, I guess. No, no. Well, maybe just title tracks. Then we could probably work it somehow. I don't know. Either way, um, this is what we decided to do as our, well, to relive 2014 basically. 
If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're looking forward to our best releases of 2015, hit the subscribe button fast so you will get updated next January. No, if you like this video and look forward to any kind of video similar to this one, hit the subscribe button. We promise to do more of those. And if you have any ideas what we should do, album-wise, song-wise, whatever, K-pop-wise, just let us know in the comments. And we will hopefully see you again very soon. Bye! Bye.